Good morning, folks. We've got some solar eruptions and top science news to hit today. Plus, we just had two great events in Arizona, and it was fantastic to meet so many of you. Starting with our star, you're going to see eruptive activity at the departing northern sunspots top right, and those are going to be followed by an erupting plasma filament located bottom right. Neither eruption is heading our way, but it's a nice example of a sympathetic eruption when one triggers another. The sunspots on the north released an M-class solar flare as they erupted, and while it's always interesting plasma interactions involved in triggering eruptions back to back, what triggered the first is more interesting. As we see coronal rain preceding the event, the rule works from these small eruptions up to nova level events. When you dump material onto a star, it's going to eruptively react little Easter egg there for veterans of the solar micronova science. We had a brief geomagnetic storm pop up yesterday due to the onset of a weak coronal hole stream, immediately following a magnetic flip in the solar wind BY, the interplanetary magnetic field, but it is waning nicely this morning. Let's jump out into deep space, all the way to Abel 98. Two galaxy clusters have been shown to be likely interacting and about to collide as the interaction of their plasma halos is already creating excitement and X-ray returns indicative of the collision visible by Chandra. Not due to crash in our lifetimes, but it'll be a heck of a show in the future. Some interesting science here. We're flying out to exoplanets which have been able to have spectroscopy performed at an extremely detailed level. It's not only the first detection of barium in the atmosphere of an exoplanet, but there's two of them, and that is the heaviest element yet detected in an exoplanet atmosphere. It's got an atomic number of 56. Lastly, on the article front, an oldie but a goodie, someone shared this paper with me from 2009, and it was in the comments recently. This actually pushes back when mainstream scientists should have begun to fully understand the galactic current sheet by about three years from my previous estimate, and they should have also understood its proximity to the solar system, its inclined nature, the turbulence when it interacts with the heliosphere, and the one-two punch of material accumulation it will bring to the solar system, most importantly, our star, material that will accumulate around the entire corona and rain down, causing the great solar flash, coming in the years ahead to a solar system near you. Folks, our two events were much fun this weekend. Lisa the Gongster opened up her sound sanctuary in Scottsdale, and we got to do a fantastic gathering as the sun set, and a warm night ensued. Not to mention, we got the gongs. And the next morning, we were at Flying Leap Winery in Elgin, where we ate, interacted. Some folks did wine tasting, and we got a tour of the facility and watched them making the good stuff in real time. We'll keep you guys informed about when and where the next meetup is, hopefully before too much accumulation happens in the corona. Tons of resources listed below the video. More time slots have been added where we can chat on the phone as well. Subscribe, and we'll do this all again tomorrow right here, but right now at 7 a.m. in the new Valley of the Sun. Eyes open. No fear. Be safe, everyone.